Yo, 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 yo. Good morning, New Jersey. Patterson, Newark, put the guns down. iHeartRadio, Connecticut, what's happening? Morning, Angela Yee. Good morning, DJ Envy. Charlamagne the God. Peace to the planet. What's happening out there? Friday, baby. How was everybody's night? Uh, mine was cool. I had to go do some stuff for BET. Okay. And then I had a meeting. I was basically out and about all day. And Charlamagne? I kept it light, man. I was in the crib watching basketball, baby. Watching the Knicks win and the Nets win. Okay. Man. Yeah. Last night, I went to the uh, Nets game last night. You don't even like the Nets. Yeah, I thought you were a Knicks fan. I am a Knicks fan, but the Nets uh, support me and uh, give me tickets, so I support the Nets as well. But i am always been a ride or die Knicks fan. But the game was good. It was actually a great game. The yeah, Nets the Nets looked like how I thought they were going to look. I told y'all the Nets were going to be a three-seed. Everybody said, oh, Charlamagne, you're crazy. But the surprise is the New York Knicks. Didn't think the Knicks would be 6-0 and at all. You were actually hating Knicks on them more. heavily. You were like, they're I, I, old. They, they, exactly. They are old. old. They're, they're the oldest team in NBA history. So that is a fact. Their knees would be out by now, but they're playing pretty good. It's only six games in. Give them, give them a chance for their knees they're to go They're playing, playing pretty good. Yeah, but the next game was, um, next guy I seen uh, Victor Cruz. Told him he's going to um, come by the show. Told me he has to come by the next time the, Knicks, uh, the Giants win. So he said uh, two weeks he'll, he'll come by. So they're not going to win for two weeks? <laughs> well, they have a bye this week, and then they have to play our, our producer's team. So The Green Bay Packers. Yeah, they'll be uh, here after that. It was a good, good game. It was a good game. I had fun last night at the game. Shout out to G-Spin. Shout out to Tata. I ran into Tata, too. Ye. Oh, yeah? How's he, he said, what's up? All right. Did you ask Tata why he ain't sprayed Robert De Niro in the face with Mace when Robert De Niro was spazzing on hold? Nah, Tata, you getting soft out there, yo? Nah, I, I didn't. I didn't go there. <laughs> I figured I better not. I didn't want to get sprayed in the face. No more, Tata. You getting soft out there? You letting Robert De Niro scream on hove like that? Yeah, I don't think anybody wants to spray Robert De Niro in the face. Yeah, mm-hmm. it ain't gonna hurt Tata. It ain't like Tata planning to be in Hollywood anytime soon. Tata gonna be doing feature films now. Nah, stop you get Black Ball from Hollywood. Hey, <laughs> you never know. <laughs> you never know. So uh, they, they were telling me about Rihanna. I didn't know Rihanna is going like on a on a. 777 tour? Where have you been? I don't know. Uh, I, 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 I knew she was going on tour, but I didn't know what she was doing. You know she's traveling with her fans on the plane yeah, and press. Yeah, private jets. I didn't know that. That's dope. Well, you know, if, you, if you check your email, you would see the invite that the Breakfast Club got to attend. I did get the invite, but I just thought that was one show in Brooklyn. That was all the shows? No, that's for... We got invited to the show here. Yes. Uh, now, nah, there's people that's going to every show. Like, they're going to Mexico, and they're going to Toronto, and they're going on all the shows. Well, unfortunately, the we have a morning show to do. We yes. got to take off. <laughs> Our boss took off. We got to take off, too. Oh, here he go. <laughs> Listen to that boy. That's why you're not the boss. Exactly. Yeah. Right. The boss took off. Oh, God. You sound like an artist that's always looking in the CEO pocket and want to make as much as the CEO. <laughs> Fulfill your contract first, and then you can own. Uh, One day you'll be a boss, Envy. <laughs> One day you'll be a boss. I'm, I'm boss now. Do your albums, okay? You got, oh yeah, you, you a boss. Five albums you deals. a boss. Take off from work and go on tour with Rihanna. All right, I'm not coming Monday. You already took off, Envy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not coming Monday. All right. I'm all right, not all right. Coming Monday. All right, let's get the show crack. It's the Breakfast Club on Power 1051. Good morning. It's Power 1051. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Now, you, what's going on in front page news? We are going to be talking about our President Obama, who mm-hmm. was over here in New York City yesterday. Okay. And I'll tell you what he has pledged to do to help out the Hurricane Sandy victims. He was in Staten Island. And we are going to be uh, discussing. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Unemployment. Yes, this all has to do. This all has to do with the Hurricane oh Sandy goodness. because unemployment rate is pretty bad here in New York City, directly related to that. Okay, we'll talk about it when we come back. Keep it locked. It's the Breakfast Club on Power 1051. <laughs> Let's take a quick look at Don uh, Duncan Don's traffic report. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> George Washington Bridge, 10 minutes from 8095 Express Lincoln Tunnel, 5 minutes in. Highland Tunnel looks okay. Queens Midtown Tunnel is now open to all vehicles and Tavisi Bridge minor delays. It's Power 1051. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Let's get in the front page news. It's 623. Now the Knicks beat the Spurs 104-100. Nets beat the Celtic, uh, Celtics 102-97. And yesterday, Barack Obama was in town. Yes, he was in New York City. He was surveying the Hurricane Sandy damaged areas. Mm-hmm. He actually went to Staten Island and visited with them and spoke to a lot of people personally. He also announced that Governor Cuomo has asked the federal government for $30 billion dollars to recover from the storm. A lot of people are arguing because there's a lot of money to be made in rebuilding New York City. And here is what Obama is warning us. We're going to have to put some of the turf battles aside. We're going to have to make sure that everybody's focused on doing the job uh, as opposed to worrying about who's getting the credit or who's getting the contracts or all that stuff that sometimes goes into the rebuilding process. 
That's real. You know why? Because I always say you can get a lot more accomplished when you stop worrying about who gets the credit for it. Let's just get it done. Right. And because of Superstorm Sandy, there is also the highest level of unemployment. People applying for unemployment. Weekly applications increased by 78,000. Now, that is because a lot of places that people work at were damaged by the storm. And people can claim unemployment benefits if your workplace is closed and you can't get paid. Damn, I didn't know that. Yeah, so obviously all these people that... Their workplaces were closed downtown or in Rockaways or in Staten Island. You can apply for unemployment. That's why Power 105 won't have them generators up ASAP. Mm -hmm. Ain't yeah. none of y'all Negroes falling on unemployment. That's right. We came to work. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> now, also, um, we're not going to do the, the gas gouging, right? But, uh, right. Good job, Emmy. No, you forgot? Sure. No, no, and no, they are, they're doing a concert, though, for Sandy Relief at Madison Square Garden, just so you know. It's mm -hmm. going to be huge. Paul McCartney, Bruce Springsteen, Alicia Keys, Bon Jovi, Billy Joel. So who a whole lot of people. That's going to be December 12th at the Garden. All of that money is going to go directly to the Robin Hood Foundation's Hurricane Sandy Relief Fund. Okay. And it's organized by Clear Channel. That's dope. Oh, that's dope. That's dope. That's us. That is dope. All right, well, that's front page news. Now, tell them why you're mad. If you're upset, you need to vent, 800-585-1051. If somebody's bothering you, if somebody's pissing you off, or something's pissing you off, call us up right now. Vent, 800-585-1051. It's the Breakfast Club on Power 105. It's 112, Peaches and Cream. We got a point, Natasha. I mean, Natasha. <laughs> I'm mad because I've been calling trying to win these anniversary tickets, but I can only get through on telling them why you're mad. Mm. True. That's a reason to be mad, but you know tickets do go on sale today. So but I'm looking for a come-up. Oh, you looking for a come-up, Natasha? Come on, Andy. You cool. <laughs> it's not going to happen. Sorry. How you know it's not going to happen? Like, she could win. You know it's not going to happen because he's still discriminating against dark skin girls. What's your Instagram, I boo? know what you are. <laughs> My Instagram is the real Natasha. N-A-T-A-S-I-A. Okay, let me see if you deserve a come-up. <laughs> nope. What's I'm the Duchess of Buttermilk? Because I'm, I'm a caterer. So oh, okay. Now we're talking. <laughs> yeah, help us help you. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> we're hungry. Well, have a good morning, Mama. Uh, and you. just so you know, your website doesn't work. Oh, my goodness. Rich, tell him why you're mad. Uh, I'm mad because I saw Envy at the Nets game last night. And he missed most of the third quarter. Like, what's up with that? Don't send Jay-Z seat that you're going to miss the third quarter, man. Well, well, you know, I watch the whole game. Well, wow. For, for and he doesn't even know the names no. of the star players on the well, team. And he wasn't even matching, man. He went rocking purple to the Nets again. What's up with that? What is wrong oh. with you? You can't come to Brooklyn like that, Envy. For, for, for your information, I left at the fourth quarter because I have a job. I had to go on serious radio, so I left at the fourth quarter. So and you got to just take a space in the season and leave? All, I mean, that's what I do. I do it like for TV. And second of all, I had the rookie galaxies on that don't come out, that they only made 300. You probably probably can't find them, so it probably upset you a little bit. But if you could get them, you would wear what them. What does that have to do with a Brooklyn Nets? I wear whatever I want to wear to wherever I'm going. All right, I mean, keep you coming to Brooklyn like that. All black. Red and blue Pele. You could have wore the all black In phones. They, those don't come out till December 26th. Wait, no, you were wearing I, Pele Pele? Mine don't come out at all. You could have shown respect. That? Tell them why you're mad. 800-585-1051. You get the rookie galaxies, and then you you, you talk to me after that. Bougie. It's the Breakfast Club on Power 1051. Tell them why you're mad. Listen, you ain't getting nothing to Sandy Vicky, bro. Hey, yo, it's the dog, DMX. You pissed off? You pissed off, man? Call 1-800-585-1051 on the Breakfast Club. Power 1051. Breakfast Club, bitches. Well, tell them why you're mad, Will. I'm mad because I listened to that Cassidy just to meet Lil last night. It was horrible. <laughs> yeah, Cassidy let me down. I was arguing with people on Twitter saying how nice Cassidy is, and I said Meek Mill makes better songs, but Cassidy's a better battle rapper, but that this record he put out was whack. <laughs> exactly. I thought it was garbage. Yeah. Definitely lost respect for them. Meek Mill put I hope that was just a warm-up. <laughs> Tina, tell them why you're mad, Tina. Man, I am so tired of being nice to other people, and I get effed up in the end. I got to be to work in, like, 20 minutes, right? And I let my neighbor, who ain't got no electricity, take a shower and wash her, all our kids up in my house. And I don't have no damn hot water. This bitch didn't pay her bill. Wait, now, wait, hold on. But you let her do that. Now you calling her a bitch? You damn right, because this bitch ain't got no job. Well, why don't you boil some water? Are you, what? You know Hold. what? I, I, I pay bills. I don't have to think like that. Listen, before. stinky box. Why you didn't wash first? <laughs> Exactly. You were still laying in that bed trying to get an extra 30 minutes. Well, you should do what Envy does and just wash up with some wet wipes. Ooh. No, sorry. <laughs> I don't know what you want us to tell us. I yeah. hate people like you who do something good for somebody and then expect something back in return. Yeah, take the day off from work. Some hot water left. This is yeah. so God is taking back all your blessings. That's all that good saying. karma you got from doing something good to somebody, God taking it all back now. Have a good morning, team. You ain't going to never be able to cut your pubic hairs the same. They're going to be hard and brittle. All right, well, yeah, we got rumors coming up? 
Yes, Chris Brown has a new job. I'll tell you what he's been hired for. Interesting. Okay, well, we find out at 6.50. Keep it locked. It's The Breakfast Club on Power 105. Yeah. It's Power 105.1. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Let's get into the rumors. Chris Brown has a new job. Listen up. It's just in. All the guys. The Rumor Report. With Angela. Angela Yee. It's The Rumor Report. The Breakfast Club on Power 105.1. So, Chris Brown has a new modeling contract with Wilhelmina Men. That's a modeling agency, obviously. They're going to help him get a, into some big-name fashion and beauty ad campaigns and get him some top-dollar licensing deals. So, he says, art and style has always played a significant role in my life. It's evolved with me throughout my career, so he's very happy to join that team. I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad to hear Chris Brown getting uh, endorsements again. Right. And let's talk about Selena Gomez and Justin Bieber. Now, they're saying that she spent the last couple of days blocking her phone numbers or other communication devices so Biebs can't reach out to her. Oh, wow. He's been texting her nonstop, trying to get back in her good graces. Mm -hmm. And I guess it worked because they're saying that he just picked her up from the airport Wednesday night and rolled over to her house, and he spent the night there. And then the next morning, they left separately and went to the Four Seasons Hotel at Beverly Hills. That's good. Justin's just a little open because that's who he's been smashing for the, the longest time. But you know, as soon as he gets in some other box, he'll be okay. Well, they're saying that the reason they broke up absolutely positively involved another woman. Mm. But they don't know exactly who that other woman is. They're too young to be tied down anyway. 19, what, what 19 and 18 or something like that? Yeah, around there. Hey, he's too, 18. They're too young to be tied down, man. Well, you know, their parents, both of their parents, they... Got married very young, so I mm -hmm. guess that's what they know. Well, they love each other, so let them live. All right, Young Dro has changed his name. Who? Cool. Exactly. You can't change your name when nobody knows who you are anymore. Like, you yeah. can't. Like, shout out to my man, Young Dro, but Dro, people don't even know Young Dro anymore. Young Dro had a big song. Years ago. Oh, show the lean. <clears throat> that was what? Four years ago? Five? Yeah. Come on, man. Anyway, his new name is Three Crazy. <laughs> He said, PSA, no longer am I the artist Young Joe. I'm officially three crazy. You can call me three. You can call me crazy. Anything but Young Joe. Listen, there's a lot of kids out here that are like, who changed their name to what? I mean, that, that could be a smart move because, you know, he comes out under three crazy and he's, now he's a new artist. You like new 2 Chains did. Right. Listen. Uh... You're a he, new artist now, Young Dro, because these people don't know you. That's he also said he has a modeling agency. He said, I'm scouting for three crazy chicks. Oh. Now, here's the weird part. It don't matter what you look like. Pretty, skinny, <laughs> fat, fine. Oh, he's doing porn. That's what that sounds like. Listen, Dro, my guy, but Dro, you got to focus on your own career before you try to help anybody do anything with theirs. Modeling, rapping, producing, none of that. You got to get back right. So now he has Three Crazy Music Group. And if you want to join, if you have talent, if you're serious, you can join Three Crazy Music No. Why would I sign to an artist that ain't popping at all? No. And that is your rumor report. I'm Angela Yee. All right. Now, coming up next, we'll give you the last night recap. Angela Yee did some stuff for BET. I was at the game, the Nets game. Charlemagne was at home. We'll tell you all about it. Keep a lot. But right now, let's take a quick look at Duncan on the traffic report. George Washington Bridge, 25 minutes in on the upper level, 10 minutes on the lower. Lincoln Tunnel inbound, 15 minutes. Holland Tunnel inbound, 20 minutes from the turnpike, 20 minutes from 1 to 9. Queens Midtown Tunnel now open to all vehicles. And Tapestry Bridge minor delays. It's Power 105. One is the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Yes. Friday is here. Now, um, shout out to uh, Jay-Z and the whole Nets organization. Shout out to Sage. I ran into Sage last night. They gave me tickets to the uh, the game last night. What up, Sage? Nets were playing the Boston Celtics. We actually sat in the whole seats. Great game. I had to leave in the fourth quarter because I had to go uh, record series. But it was dope. I ran into uh, Victor Cruz there. He said he's going to stop by the show. Uh, it was a good game. I mean, Were you in the vault? Yeah, I went to the vault. The vault is like a little private club that they have downstairs behind the... Uh, I guess like not behind the stadium, but behind the, where, the, where the players play, behind the court. And it was dope. It was just a, it was a dope event last night. The crowd was amazing. It was a lot of Boston Celtic fans in there last night. Yeah, you went with our boss, who was a Boston Celtic yeah, he was a, fan. He was very quiet though. He was very quiet. You can't be in Jay Z seats. Absolutely not. Bro, when, they're, when, they're, when, when they're losing, you can be quiet. Not at all, especially when Avery Johnson's sitting there right there screaming at everybody. <laughs> so it was a good game. So shout to shout to whole shout to Tata shout to the whole Nets organization. I had a good time last night. Now what about you? Yee? What you do last night? Uh, yesterday I was actually I had to go film for BET's end of the year special that they do where they recap all the biggest stories of the year. Okay. And you know they did a lot on love triangles like Chris Brown, Karuche, and mm -hmm. Rihanna was one. And they did uh, Stevie J, Jocelyn, and Mimi as another love triangle. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. <laughs> but, you know, we talked about a lot of things. and It refreshed my memory about a lot of big things that happened in this past year. Whitney Houston passing away was a big deal, obviously. Uh, Chris Sounds Lighty. this year? 
Yes. Damn. You forget everything that happened this year that was so huge and impactful. What about you, Charlemagne? I was home watching the NBA on TNT. That's what I was doing. I was laying in the bed watching the, uh, the, the Nets play the Celtics. Then I was watching the MSG channel watching the Knicks play the um, Spurs. That's what I did. I don't do much. All right. Keep it light. Sounds good to me. Yes. Okay. Now, uh, Rihanna and Karuche, they're fighting over Chris Brown. Are they really, though? Yes, they are. I mean, obviously, Karuche wants to hold on to her, man. He loves her. He has her face tattooed on his arm. Oh, that could be any bitch. Oh, no, no. Goodness. He really, I'm sure he really cared about her. Now, if Chris Brown was to get one of them pregnant, which one should he get pregnant? They're saying both what? of them want to get pregnant by, by Chris Brown. Right. Is that even a real question? Yes. I'll tell you who I'm skeeting. Well, when we come back. Would you like back, to know who back, club I'm going to shoot up? Everyone's. 800-585-1051. Chris Brown. He has to knock one of them off. Which one should it be? I got to hit one of them or on skeet in it. It's the Breakfast Club on Power 1051. This is a real question. Yep. I'm going to say, and you're going to think this is weird, I'm going to say Karuche. Why? Because Rihanna is too busy. She's running around. She's on tour. She's doing albums. She's having That's a good true. time. She's fun. I would, you know what? Karuche, I agree. All, all, she, she, all she has time for is Chris Brown. I agree. Because Chris Brown don't need the money. He needs somebody to raise his kids. Rihanna's going to be on the road. Rihanna ain't going to be able to raise them kids. Rihanna Rihanna's, don't even need to be having a kid. Rihanna's right smoking weed. She doing running around acting, uh, doing, acting a monkey. No. Sit your what? ass down. What did you just say? No, you know, act, she's on people's shoulders and Acting concerts. a monkey. Yeah, that's what you call it. Acting crazy. Acting Whoa. Act. You know, you know, both of y'all bring up great points. But, you know, in order to get somebody pregnant, you must be having unprotected sex. So for the chance to smash Rihanna raw and the fact she's worth millions. He's done that a million times. I'm shooting Rihanna's club up. But uh, We're talking about you personally. We're, we're not talking about you personally. We're talking about Chris Brown. He's obviously raw dog both those girls. I, we don't know that. See, oh he's spreading goodness. rumors. Hey, we don't know that. Clearly, he has. Yeah, he has. <laughs> so, I, yeah, I mean, if, if he's a sexual deviant like me, a dirt diggler, he absolutely has. Had unprotected sex with both of them. Oh, my God. But, you know, you're right, though. To play devil's advocate, if you want a mother that's going to be a real hands-on mother, I, I would go with Karuche. Yeah, because he got Rihanna? the money. You don't need the money. He yeah, got the Rihanna, money. Rihanna it really is too busy for kids. Karuche don't have nothing to do but raise some babies. But if Chris Brown know what I know, it's enough sperm to go around. You oh shoot both their clubs up. 800 585 105 You can pay for them. You got the bread. We got it's Ashley on the line. That. Hold on, y'all. We got Ashley on the line. Ashley, who should Chris Brown get pregnant? Me. <laughs> Hold on. Who should Chris Brown get pregnant? Rihanna. Why? He don't, what? Look, Karuchi should not be the next Tamika Raymond, okay? Damn you going to be kids, no custody. You got a little house. You ain't going to have your house soon. He need to just get Rihanna pregnant. Karuchi just need to go somewhere. Thank That's you. Rihanna got that bread, shorty. Nicole, who should Chris Brown get pregnant? The ex-girlfriend. Rihanna needs to sit her little self down. She's just doing it for attention. Oh, oh, yeah, like Rihanna needs attention. I think she do. And shut she up. Y'all say him. anything. Sh Charlamagne, shut up. Jay-Z told him if he hurt her again, he's going to destroy his career. So he's probably going to be nice to her just because Jay said it. Man. All right. Thank you, Mama. Uh, Friday, Friday. 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 800-585-1051. Who should Chris Brown get pregnant? Rihanna or Karuche? It's the Breakfast Club on Power 1051. Power 1051 is the Breakfast Club. Good morning. It's 730. Now we were talking about Rihanna and Karuche. Now give us some updates of what's going on, ye. Yeah, the alleged rumor is that both Rihanna and Karuche want to have Chris Brown's baby. They're trying to hold on to him. Obviously, Rihanna has him now. Karuche wants to get him back. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're wondering, if you were Chris Brown, who would you impregnate if you had to choose one or the other? Now, I say Karuche. Mm -hmm. I think Rihanna's on the road too much. She's a superstar. She's traveling. She can't raise a child, I, I don't think, properly because she's doing too much. Although there's a lot of moms out there that have that um, travel and work. It's very difficult, especially with a newborn. I mean, but from a strictly breeding standpoint, if I'm Chris Brown, um, I can sing, I can dance. I want to, you know, share my sperm with someone just as talented. So that would be Rihanna. Oh, so now you think Rihanna can sing? No. She's not, she definitely, you didn't used to think that. I never said she could sing. I, I said she's talented. <laughs> she can't sing live. Oh, she's right. talented. Well, let's go. So if I had to share my sperm to make a proper breed, it would be with Rihanna. Now, what do you think, I would say Karuche just because... You know, Rihanna is still young and working on her music, and she's got a long career ahead of her. I don't think it's the time for her right now. All right, well, let's go to the phone lines. We got Mickey on the line. Mickey, who should Chris Brown get pregnant? He should have a baby with Rihanna. Why? She, I think Rihanna will be more financially stable if anything were to happen, and they don't make it, and Chris acts a fool. But if Karuche don't make it with Chris and something happens, she ain't going to be able to support that baby financially like she needs to. And you know what else I was just thinking about? 
What? What? If both of them do want to have a child, Chris owes it to Rihanna to give her a baby after all he put her through. After all of that. Absolutely. Look at what he's putting Karuche through also. He ain't never okay, beat Karuche up in the front of the two-seater. We don't oh, know that. Two, I don't agree with Angela Yee either because she says Rihanna is too busy to have a baby. The world's queen, Miss Beyonce, was too busy to have a baby. And you see she had to take some time off, right? So? She right back out there touring and, and doing her thing. You Rihanna right. is young. She got an album about to come out. She's not exactly. married. Beyonce got married. She had albums out. She needed a little break anyway. Who she did said, Destiny's Child. This is 2012, Angela. Who has to be married to have a baby? Listen, That's very true, boy. That's you know what? You can say it's 2012, but I don't really encourage and say you should no, try to do that. I, that's not what I aim for. I'm their role model. Right. Maybe they should get married first. Right. If you I have a choice, I would rather do it that, that way. That sounds good, but this ain't right. a perfect world. It sounds good. It right. sounds good. Thank you, Mama. Hello, who's this? Rihanna. Rihanna, okay. Who should Chris uh -oh. Brown have a baby with? Me. <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> Why are you better than Karuche, Rihanna? Because I don't even know who that is. And, she, <laughs> um, and Rihanna, she just didn't know. She got him in trouble. I don't like her no more. And I love Chris Brown. And my name is Rihanna, so just me. Oh, let, oh, let's be clear. Rihanna didn't get Chris Brown in trouble. Chris Brown got himself in trouble, okay? <laughs> Knock it off. Hello, okay? who's this? Hey, this is Marco from North. Who's your I think she, no, none of them. Why? He ain't a good, he gotta be a man first before he have, before he become a father. Why he not a man? He's still getting in trouble. He's still fighting in the clubs. Listen. He's still partying himself. There's a lot of deadbeat dads dad. out here. I don't think Chris Brown would be one of them. Exactly, but he still ain't ready for no kid. All right, bro. Thank you. All right. Well, you we'll never know what you're ready for until it actually happens. So if I was Chris Brown. I would absolutely shoot both of their clubs up. Oh, you're crazy. All right, yeah, we got rumors coming up. Yes, let's talk about Meek Mill versus Cassidy. Now, Cassidy has put out a diss song about Meek Mill, and we, we're we going to play a little piece of it, and I'll tell you what he said in the song. All right, keep it locked. It's The Breakfast Club on Power 105.1. And this portion of The Breakfast Club is powered by Fairway, like no other market. It's Power 105.1. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. It's 7.50. Let's get into the rumors. Cassie beefing with, or Cassidy, excuse me, beefing with Meek Mill. Let's I go. Cassie. Listen up. All the guys. The rumor report. With Angela Yee. It's the rumor report. The Breakfast Club on Power 1051. Uh, so it started off with Cassidy and Meek Mill going at each other on Twitter. Allegedly they were gonna battle, and I don't think that's gonna happen now. Meek Mill doesn't feel like he needs to do that. He tweeted out, Meek Mill said, why N-Words trying to pump Cassidy to battle? I said I wanted him and Mook to battle. A battle I wanted to see. He gotta get poppin' first to battle me. And he said, you can't pave the way with come to my hotel. No. <laughs> uh, that is when Cassidy responded, I've been popping for over a decade. And we're get one year in and get carried away. I paved the way for these dudes. And we is scared. He said, that would be the easiest 100000 I ever made in my life. It's like taking candy from a baby. Damn. Now Cassidy has gone ahead and did a song. It's called The Diary of a Hustler. On this song, he is basically saying that Meek ain't what he says he is when he portrays himself in his songs as a hustler. Here is some of what Cassidy said. You ain't seen that I seen. It's a big difference between getting a man slaughtered and man slaughtered. And you don't want them goons kidnapping your damn daughter, tying your damn son up if that money don't come up. Mm. Kind of feels like he alludes to kidnapping his son. I don't think Meek got a daughter, though. I don't, I don't know what child Meek has, but you know, it, it, that bothered me because I said Meek makes better songs, but I said when it came to a battle, like battle rapping, Cassidy would take him. But no, that diss record Cassidy well, is terrible. Here's a little more. Maybe this will wet your palate. Don't believe this hustling, this bluffing. Look him in his eyes. The only time he cooking pies is in the kitchen oven. He a born liar. I'm on fire like the pip I'm buffing. I'm hot, so I'm about to blow volcanic eruption. I've heard much better bars from Cassidy. If you ever seen, go to YouTube and watch Cassidy versus Freeway. Cassidy ate Freeway, but that diss record he put out was very, very lackluster. And they said Cassidy produced the beat as well. Yeah, he don't. He, oh. he, he need to let other producers produce his tracks. Mm. Yeah, and that's what it is. When you do a diss record, we expect you to come really hard. Just especially Cassidy, because we haven't heard from Cassidy in a minute, and I expected a lot more from Cassidy than that. Well, that you want right. to know how Meek Mill responded? What he went on Twitter said that had to be a warm up. Wow, it had to be. Those were the jumping jacks. Wow. <laughs> All right, let's talk about Kim Kardashian and talk about some more beef. She was actually in London promoting her clothing line, and she wanted to meet up with Kate Middleton, Prince William's wife. Mm -hmm. 
And, you know, they say that Kanye was trying to style Kim after her, make her more subtle, subdued, classy. Right. Well, Kate Middleton said, uh, no thanks. Wow. They're saying Kate can't stand their style. And what, from what she knows about their TV show, it's a bunch of trashy people primping and yelling at each other. So she wasn't down for that. They're saying the Kardashian sisters offered Kate some free samples from their British line. And they said Kate wouldn't be caught dead in a Kardashian outfit. <laughs> she gets free clothes every day of the week. She always sends them back. The royal family is careful not to be seen endorsing any product. It's not proper. And the Kardashian outfits just aren't appropriate. They are cheap, slutty clothes. Wow. All right. So I don't think they're going to be friends anytime soon. Not at all. You know, last night on X Factor, Khloe Kardashian had on some tuxedo pants. I'm like, yo, that had to be Lamar Odom's tuxedo pants from when they got married. <laughs> you stupid. Anyway, that is your rumor reports. I'm now, Angela Yee. Now, up next, who are you giving your donkey to? I'm giving my donkey to a girl that doesn't want it. Her name's Shamik Hold Hold Holdsclaw. Shamik what? Holdsclaw. Shamik Holdsclaw. She's a WNBA player. Okay. So she don't want nothing. One of the I best got. WNBA players. Yes, she's a head. legend. She don't, so she don't want nothing I got. Oh, boy. She don't want nothing from a man. Well, 804 <laughs> Donkey today is coming up. Keep it locked. It's the Breakfast Club of Power 1051. Let's take a quick look at Duncan Owners Traffic Report. George Washington Bridge, upper level and lower level, 35 minutes in. Lincoln Tunnel, 25 minutes in. Highland Tunnel inbound from the Turnpike. N109 is 20 minutes in. Queens Midtown Tunnel, 20 minute delay. And Tapestry Bridge, minor delays. <laughs> I was born a donkey. It's the donkey of the day. That's pretty funny. Which Charlemagne the devil? Awesome. <laughs> the Breakfast Club on Power 105.1. Yes, donkey of the day for Friday, November 16th, goes the Olympic gold medalist and former WNBA player Shamika Holdsclaw. Holds Claw, Shamika, turned herself into Atlanta police yesterday afternoon and was arrested and booked for aggravated assault and criminal damage to property. Shamika Holds Claw, guess what she did? What? <laughs> she chased down her ex girlfriend's Range Rover, smashed the window with a baseball bat, and then fired a gun inside the window. Damn it, man. She didn't hit nobody. Wow. Her ex girlfriend was Jennifer Lacey, who's also a WNBA, WNBA player. She plays uh, currently for the Tulsa Shock. Shamika is being held on $10,000 bail, and she will probably do a short prison stint. You know, all for the love of some box, the crime of passion. Listen, Shamika Holesclaw, I am shocked and appalled that you, an Olympic gold medalist, WNBA legend, 35 years old, is spazzing out over some young 29-year-old box? You are a WNBA legend. Keyword WNBA. You have seen every type of vagina and tasted every type of vagina America and the world has to offer. You're not supposed to lose your cool over one piece of box. You're supposed to let Jennifer Lacey go about her business. You're supposed to call up the next WNBA chick and tell her, come over and taste the queen. You done ran through too many of these chicks to be committing crimes of passion and to fire off a gun? She must have cheated on you with some penis. That's the only thing that can set a lesbian off like this because another chick is like, whatever. My tongue's still better. But a man banging a lesbian's girlfriend will drive her crazy because she knows no matter how many toys she buys, she can't penetrate her with a real penis simply because she doesn't have one. Well, the one good thing about this situation is if Shamika goes to prison, she'll be in heaven. He thought the WNBA was fun. Her locked up with a bunch of chicks with nothing else to do but work out, mm. sleep, eat. Then eat again. And eat some more. Eat some more. <laughs> Give Shamika Holesclaw the biggest hee-haw. She's still uh -huh. eating. Uh -huh. She might have did it on purpose. <laughs> I'm not in the WNBA, more, WNBA no more. I'm going to where I can be in a, uh, a shower with a bunch of chicks. Oh, my What's goodness. What's the next best thing? Prison. You right. All right. Well, thank you, Charlemagne. Okay. Donkey today. We do that every morning at 8.04. Now, up next is Friday, so you know what that means. It's Ho Appreciation Day. That sounded so weak, so lame. Yeah. Okay, let's do it over. Let's try to skin. All right, thank you, Charlemagne, for Donkey today. We do that every day at 8.04, but it's Friday, so you know what that means. It's Hall Appreciation Day. That's right. It still sounded kind of lame, but we'll live with it. All right, it's always time to put a hole into the whole Hall of Fame. Keep it locked. And this is a basketball hole, right? Another basketball. A basketball wife? Oh, I was going to say a basketball hole, but we'll get into it. It's the Breakfast Club on Power 105. Well, come on. In. It's Power 105. One is the Breakfast Club. Good morning. It's Friday, so you know what that means. It's, it's Hall Appreciation Day. That's right, and it's time to put a hole into the whole Hall of Fame. What hole we put in today? Man, this morning, you guys want to put Gloria Govan from Basketball Wives LA in the whole Hall of Fame. Oh, man. Now, you know she did recently get married, and we've had Matt Barnes on the show. We've had Gloria on the show as well. Mm -hmm. The reason why, though, because they were engaged before they didn't get married, is because allegedly Gloria w had cheated on Matt. And Matt Barnes actually came out and made these allegations himself. He actually had released a statement saying that...
They decided to separate in the best interest of her career. He said, I agreed to portray that we were still together. He said, the reason why I broke my silence a month ago was because of the ongoing affair she was having with a now former friend of mine. Now, according to rumors, they're saying that Gloria was hooking up with the game as well as uh, someone else from Black Wall Street, and that is Avante Rose. Avante Rose sent out some tweets to Matt Barnes. He said, N-word, yo, bitch, come off the bench just like you. Damn. Well, N-word, when y'all was split up, yo, B got effed many times in your house. End of that story. Well, Matt Barnes did respond to that, and he said <clears throat> during that period of time, they were not even together, so he can't even be mad at her for that. Damn. I fell back and, you know, let her do her thing, and we're going to keep our situation a lot tighter. Are y'all together now? Around. Yeah, we're working things out. You so. guys took like an eight-month break or something? Yeah, we took a little vacation on each other. You know, now we're bringing things back together. So, you know, her past is her past. Game even name-dropped Gloria in, in one of his songs. He's And Good Girls Go Bad actually was the title of that song. I'm sitting here watching Basketball Wives and only cute one, Gloria. That's my N-word, Matt Barnes chick. Can't swim in that poonful. That's a crucial conflict. Never sleep with the wife of N-word you eat with. Mm. All right, now, the reason why this all came up is because the Basketball Wives LA reunion was just taped. And Malaysia's best friend, Bambi, is trying to say that Gloria is very promiscuous. She said that Gloria has slept with multiple members of Black Wall Street and that uh, she's been kind of, you know, pretending to be... A, a little bit better than, than that. And, and Matt Barnes has said, hey, what happened in the past happened in the past. And Gloria said, I'm with Matt now, and that's all that matters. So congratulations, Miss Gloria. You have made it into the very highly esteemed Ho Hall of Fame. Okay. Ho's be winning. She is married now. Yep. Oh, congratulations to Gloria Gavan. She's in there with uh, Trey Song. Other basketball Kim wives Kardashian. are in there as well. Evan Lozada made it in, and she's yeah, a friend everybody's of ours. Yeah, everybody's in there. Yeah. All right, well, congratulations Taylor Swift's to her. even in there. Okay. Which I don't agree with, by the way. You were sitting right up in here with us. Quiet as hell. Nope. All right. Well, up next, we have my homie. His name is Siraj. He owns the Sneaker Room, which is a sneaker store out in Jersey. That's Siraj. where I get all of my sneakers from. Now, uh, we're going to do something to give back to all the victims of Sandy. Not only the victims, the kids that were affected by Sandy. When we come back, we'll tell you all about it. It's a toy drive. So. Yeah, if you're in the Jersey City area and you want to do something to help the victims of Sandy, you definitely want to stay tuned. All right, it's the Breakfast Club on Power 105.1. Good morning. Power 105.1, is the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Yes. We're here with a, a good friend of the show. It's our homie right here. Uh, his name is Mr. Siraj. You know the, the takeover in Jersey, though. He owns a store called The Sneaker Room. He changed that. He, oh, you changed it? Wow. I've been there in a minute. That's the last time he's been there. That's how good of a friend he is. Very good friend of mine. That's a very good friend of mine. Hasn't been there in three and a half months. I haven't why'd been there in a change, few months. Why'd you change the name of the store? Uh, we went through some uh, legality issues. <laughs> now, nah, but um, but we're not here talking about sneakers today, which we can be. I mean, he, well, you are kind of. All right. Well, <laughs> let's, let's get to the sneakers first. <laughs> okay. What's probably the the biggest sneakers that that people line up for the store the most when it comes to sneakers? Jordans. Jordans. Jordans and phone posits. What's the hottest kicks right now? The Galaxy Rookies. The Galaxy Rookies. Yeah. Can I ask you something about the white and white Air Force Ones? Of course. Do people still really wear those? Yes. It's one of the most iconic shoes. It's been out since 1982. And you tell me anything that's lasted 30 years on the same silhouette, same color, same format, there's nothing that you can do. Because they're associated with all people now. used to wear them, and now they don't. That's the way my Air Force I, I actually seen. went to the other day. He came the other day and bought two pairs. <laughs> Steve Stops saw Envy in a pair all white. He said, oh, you trying to bring those back? Wow. Now, let's talk about this positive thing that you're doing. Now, for some of the people that don't know about the sneaker room, I'm just going to name some of the celebrities that do go there and frequent shop there. Jason Tug. Who else? Victor Who? Cruz. Justin Tug. Justin Tug. Who is, Who is Jason, Jason Tug? Tug? Justin Tug. Oh, Jason Tug goes to the takeover. <laughs> <laughs> Just, wow. Justin Tuck from the Giants, wow. Victor Cruz from the Giants, um, Fabulous, Clue, of course, me, Fat Joe, um, Fat Joe, um, Jadakiss. Jadakiss. Wow, you guys, I don't even have the name. You guys are great. So a lot there. of people do shop there and pick up their sneakers there. Now you're doing something big this Saturday. Now what are you doing this Saturday? Yeah, we're doing a toy drive for uh, Hurricane Sandy because you know what's going on right now is everybody's collecting jackets clothing, food for all these people at our shelters. But just to remind you, a shelter's a big gym with like 300 beds. You can't store all that stuff there. But the thing is, there's a lot of kids going, you know, that are in the shelters that they have no normalcy. They, you know, got rushed out of their home, mm -hmm. don't have their clothes, don't have toys, don't have nothing. So we decided to give back and do a big toy drive where we're just going to get a whole, we're trying to fill a 34-foot truck full of toys. And then Sunday, we're going down the shore just to hand out the toys, try to give the kids some normalcy back in their lives. 
That's dope. You're like the Puerto Rican Santa Claus, man. I, I would be if I was Puerto Rican or Charlamagne. Jesus Christ. You showed, you showed right. how much we're not Take friends. over the sneaker room. Jason talk, and now he's not Puerto Rican. Yeah, I don't even know where you got that one. But um, we're, we're doing that. You know, Envy's coming down. I heard he's looking like Santa Claus in the Ferrari with a whole bunch of toys hanging out the back. Yeah, if you don't come to, to get come toys, then Siraj won't be giving you those calls when those exclusive sneakers Oh, yeah, sneakers I'm going to put it Absolutely. on blast right now. All these people that hit me up for all these exclusive sneakers, you have not been hitting my phone about this toy drive. I might have, so, to, come, memories, I might have to come through, too. You'll come through. Come through. Charlamagne, Charlamagne said he's going to be in Atlanta, but he's about to give me $200 right now to go buy toys today. You what? To, you know, donate to the kids because he wants to give back. Yeah. You, know, yeah, you better get that that's money right now dude. on camera. That's <laughs> what you do. Oh, no, that's why we did it on camera and oh, on the radio. Yeah, I got my you know I mean? I got him. You know <laughs> That's my you guy. I mean? What do you like for women? What, is, what do you think is the best sneakers for women? Best sneakers for women? Air Max 2012s. The new LeBron 10s are dope for women. I and, like and, LeBron's. And to be honest with you, phone posits. The only thing is phone posits are very limited in a size 6, 6 and a half. Mm -hmm. Foot Locker and all those stores don't carry them. So it's like we get three pairs and that they go super, Wait. super dope. Well, we oh, appreciate look, you stopping And through. we still didn't see that, that money from Charlemagne. Yeah, Charlemagne, can I get that please real quick? I don't have it on me. I got to go through uh, it. No, just, <laughs> no, 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 just, no, no, just do me a favor. Take a picture of your card and I'll charge you when I get no, to the no, store. I, I do. I have to, I you feel me? Yeah, uh huh. <laughs> but we appreciate you stopping through the tour drive tomorrow. Give them the address of the store one more time. It's going down tomorrow, Sneaker Room 267 Central Avenue, Jersey City, New Jersey, from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. You can also check out the website because all the details for the toy driver there. Uh, S N K R Room R O O M dot com. All right, it's the Breakfast Club on Power 1051, the homie Siraj from Sneaker Room. That's what it is. It's Power 1051, it's the Breakfast Club. Let's get into the rumors now. 50 Cent, he has some words for Chief Keith. Listen up. This just in. All the guys. The Rumor Report with Angela, Angela Yee. It's The Rumor Report. The Breakfast Club on Power 1051. Apparently, Chief Keefe had a video shoot, and guess what happened? What? He didn't show up. 50 Cent tweeted at Chief Keefe, didn't show up to his own video. I never saw anything like this on the first song. Then he said, it's not funny. A Chief Keefe didn't sell any records yet. They will pull the plug on him. Now, I hope I can say this without getting shot by Chief Keefe, but I've been hearing some really negative things about Chief Keefe as far as him not showing up to go and do shows that he's been paid to do and just bad business all around. And he's got to straighten up. And I don't know if the people around him need to help him out or what, but you got to get it together. Wow! I mean, he might not, he's probably not ready for the business. He's still a street dude from Chicago. He's probably just not ready for the business. You so. have an opportunity. And you don't want to blow it. Yes, sir. That's all I'm Listen, saying. You got an opportunity yes, to make a lot more money to buy a lot more guns, a lot more weed, and you're blowing it, Chief Keith. Somebody else also said that uh, he has three women pregnant right now. Damn. And he already had the child. Well, at least he ain't spending his money on condoms. <laughs> you got to know how to prioritize. Now, right. in more 50 Cent news, he actually has reportedly been approved by the Nevada State Athletic Commission for a promoter's license. So it looks like he is actually going to be a boxing promoter wow. after parting ways from... The money team, he now has his own SMS promotions company. Well, let me, let me talk to 50 Cent for a minute. If you just, if you got your boxing company, right, mm -hmm. you just got your boxing license in Nevada, why the hell are you even at Chief Keith video shoots? Wasting your time with that nigga stuff. Because he got to stay in the hood. He got to stay Man, in the hood. Man, no, you don't. Yes, he does. Listen, listen, listen. they are label mates. They're both on Interscope. Man, He's a young kid. ain't nobody checking for 50 Cent's music no more. Yeah, but it's not about that. He's standing next to. It's about the business side of things, and you can't help but say that 50 Cent does have a good business sense. Like it says, relatable to the kids. What's going to make me more money? Be it a, a boxing promoter in Nevada or rapping? All of the above. But well, maybe uh, he just cares about, he sees a young Chief Keith, maybe he sees himself in him, and he wants man, to help him out. I'd be over here trying to get these fights set up. All right, now let's talk about new albums coming out. Alicia Keys is coming out. Girl on Fire and Rihanna's Unapologetic album. They have actually released the projected sales. Who do you think is going to do more? Her album came out? No, it didn't come out, but they actually oh. have early figures in already. I guess they can tell by how much you ship and how much stores order. Who's going to do the most? And iTunes pre-orders. Who's going to do the most between who? Chief Keef. Alicia Keys or <laughs> Rihanna? Rihanna! Alicia Keys. <clears throat> what? I'm going to give it to Envy. They're saying Alicia Keys is projected to do about 300000 in the first week. And then Chief Keef, then Rihanna. Yeah, right. Shut and up. Rihanna is right behind that with about 275000 But it's a known fact that Rihanna does very well with her singles. Very, very so the album's come out when? Uh, Rihanna's album comes out, comes out November 19th. And I, Alicia Keys comes out the 27th. I mean, I've never heard sales projections before the album came out. They right? always do. They can project by how much many, you ship uh, and how many pre-orders you yeah, get. Yeah, how many pre-orders uh, you get. I never knew that. How it doesn't impressed? mean it's 100%. 
you know, correct, but they can project what they expect that Damn, she'll so do. So Rihanna still won't have a number one album. This will be her seventh album, and this, she's never had a number but one album. But she had a lot of number one singles. Absolutely. And that is your rumor report. I'm Angela Yee. Up next, we got DJ Envy with the, the Friday Shares Mix. Yellow Cake Mix. Woo -hoo, woo -hoo, woo -hoo. Who's feeling cakey today? <laughs> <sighs> and also live like you're not feeling sick, are you? No, I'm good. Why wow, you want to do the Yee mix? Because I could have took over this. Nah, that's all right. You want to live like Little Wayne for a little while? Like it happens at nine o'clock, you can win a thousand and possibly ten thousand. Keep it locked. It's the if you want to trend worldwide, you let that Yee mix rock. Oh. Challenge. Challenge. It's the Breakfast Club on Power 105.1. Power 1051 is the Breakfast Club. Good morning. I like what you're doing this morning, you waffle colored man. Oh, thank you, sir. You waffle colored Negro, you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now, don't forget, call 105 right now if you want to go to our two-year anniversary party to see the Breakfast Club and T.I. Call 105 will be in the building, 800-585-1051. Tickets go on sale today at 10 a.m. at all Ticketmaster locations. Yes, last year we had uh, Wale, Meek Mill, French, French Montana, Montana, and, and two, chains. two Chains. Two Chains was our special guest. Right, so yeah. this year Who headline knows? with T.I is going to pop up this year, but T.I. is pretty, that's big enough. Yeah, we got one special guest already. Yeah, did, did they tell you about it? Yes, they did. That's going to be a big one. That's going to be amazing. Yeah. The, women, the women are really going to love that one. Yep. Yeah. Oh, oh, no. You're talking about that one. I'm talking about another one. Oh, another one. Who? How come no one told me? You heard me? Yeah. Hello? Oh, Yo, you didn't know that? That's a big one, boys. That's huge. Yes. All right, well. That's my guy. I like that. The young boy's going to really like that one. Yeah. And the young ladies. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, that's another big one. I told y'all I wanted him last All right, this year. is too much inside talk. Come All right, on, it's right, not right, fair, right, you know? Right, right. All right, but definitely All get I'm your saying tickets. is you better hurry up and get your tickets because yeah, once we tickets. announce that, it's a wrap. Yeah, I wanted him last year, but, you know, y'all were like, he ain't hot enough out here yet. Yeah, right. But he was warming up, but no, now I he's thought on fire. He was, I thought he now was red he's on hot. fire. Nah, he was red hot last year, but it's good. We got him this year. It's all good. Now, don't forget our Power 105 One Relief Drive at Autoland. That's today until noon at 170 Route 22 East Springfield. Bring anything you possibly can. Garbage bags, uh, supplies, mops, whatever you can. And then tomorrow, we're doing it for the kids. That's right. We're doing a toy drive at the Sneaker Room. Shout out to Siraj. Now, the Sneaker Room is in Jersey City. That's where I get my sneakers from. That's where Charlamagne gets his sneakers from. Jordans, phone posits, you name it. That's where we get it from. But they're going to have a U-Haul truck outside of there. And we're going to be asking for toys. Just toys for kids. You know, a lot of this, the kids are disheveled for because of Sandy. Maybe they might not have their toys, their video games. So bring anything you possibly can. Footballs, video games, you name it. Uh, dolls, whatever you can bring out there. There's going to be a lot of people out there. Um, I'm going to be out there. Charlemagne's going to be out there. Uh, Victor Cruz is going to be out there. Justin Tuck's going to be out there. I believe Fabulous. J.D. Kiss. There's going to be a lot of us out there just doing the right things. And Charlemagne donated $200. I didn't see that $200 yet. Did you, Charlemagne? Yes, I did. <laughs> Shout out to my guy, Siraj. No, I haven't yet, but I will. <laughs> I'm going today. That you was going yesterday. No, I'm going today. I'm going to see my guy, Siraj. I just talked to Siraj. We were texting each other. I'm going to see Siraj Cute. today. All right. Now, uh, if you want more details, just hit up power1051fm.com for more details. All right, all right. It's Friday. Mm -hmm. What are you all about to do? Oh. Well, tonight I'm at Area Out in Queens. Tomorrow I'm at uh, Amnesia. Also, I'm at uh, Perfections. Sunday I'm going to Vegas Sunday, so I'll be in Vegas on Sunday. I'll be back Monday, though. Yeah, I got to go to... Um, BB Kings is open tomorrow. I'll be in Atlanta tomorrow, too. I got to go to Atlanta. To, oh, really? Yeah, to film something for... MTV, MTV2. But I'll be here in New York this weekend while you guys are jet-setting around the world. I'll be in Yonkers tomorrow at 620 Lounge. Okay. Yeah, so that should be fun. My first time doing a party in Yonkers. You better call the D-Block boys. They'll be there. Okay, good. They make sure you hide over Shout there. Shout out to DJ OP and Killer Touch and everybody for putting me down. Oh, you'll be good. Then. Shout out to Styles PJ to Kiss and Sheik Luch as well. Mm -hmm. Maybe I could go to the Juice Bar. That's in the Bronx. It's on the way. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. But when I said it's Friday, what y'all about to do? I thought you were going to do some goon tunes, but I guess not. Nah, we'll do the goon tunes next week. All right. All right, now, Aunt Cherry Martinez is up next. Is your next chance to walk away with $1,000 and also possibly $10,000 cash and hang out with Lil Wayne out in Miami. Now, Charlotte, may give us the positive note of the day. Listen, every day may not be good, but there's something good in every day. So, find it. All right. That's true. You guys have a great weekend. Enjoy it. It's the Breakfast Club on Power 105.1. Breakfast Club, bitches.